In the name of Allah, the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful. Surah Al-Anam, The Cattle. And it is he who produces gardens, trellised and untrellised, and date palms, and crops of different shape and taste, its fruits and its seeds, and olives, and pomegranates, similar, in kind, and different, in taste. Eat of their fruit when they ripen, but pay the due thereof, it's zakat. According to Allah's orders January 10th th or 1 slash 20 th, on the day of its harvest, and waste not by extravagance. Verily, he likes not al-Musrifun, those who waste by extravagance. And of the cattle, are some, for burden, like camels etc., and, some are, small, unable to carry burden like sheep, goats etc. for food, meat, milk, wool etc. Eat of what Allah has provided for you, and follow not the footsteps of shaitan, Satan. Surely he is to you an open enemy. Eight pairs, of the sheep too, male and female, and of the goats too, male and female. Say, has he forbidden the two males or the two females, or a the young, which the wombs of the two females enclose? Inform me with knowledge if you are truthful. And of the camels too, male and female, and of oxen too, male and female. Say, has he forbidden the two males or the two females or a the young, which the wombs of the two females enclose? Or were you present when Allah ordered you such a thing? Then who does more wrong than one who invents a lie against Allah, to lead mankind astray without knowledge? Certainly Allah guides not the people who are Zalaman, polytheists and wrongdoers, etc. Say, O Muhammad, I find not in that which has been inspired to me anything forbidden to be eaten by one who wishes to eat it, unless it be matata, a dead animal, or blood poured forth, by slaughtering or the like, or the flesh of swine, pork, etc. For that surely is impure, or impious, unlawful, meat, of an animal, which is slaughtered as a sacrifice for others than Allah, or has been slaughtered for idols, etc., or on which Allah's name has not been mentioned while slaughtering. But whosoever is forced by necessity without willful disobedience, nor transgressing due limits, for him, certainly, your Lord is oft forgiving, most merciful. And unto those who are Jews, we forbade every animal, with undivided hoof, and we forbade them the fat of the ox and the sheep except what adheres to their backs or their entrails, or is mixed up with a bone. Thus we recompense them for their rebellion, committing crimes like murdering the prophets, eating of riba, usury, etc. And verily, we are truthful. If they, Jews, belie you, Muhammad, say you, your Lord is the owner of vast mercy, and never will his wrath be turned back from the people who are mudramin, criminals, polytheists, sinners, etc.